I didn't see you there. I've just been enjoying my first few days off campus. Moving off campus can be great. An exciting milestone to say the least. It totally is, but there's also a catch. You're taking on a lot of responsibility. It's like getting a superpower or something. With great off-campus housing comes great responsibility. True. So before you hire that moving truck or invite friends over for pizza, let's discuss some important rights and responsibilities you'll have as a tenant. First, remember that you're joining a community, a neighborhood. And while your involvement in that neighborhood might be temporary, the people who live there have made a long-term commitment to that neighborhood. Your neighbors, like everyone else, have a reasonable expectation to live in a quiet neighborhood that's not disruptive to themselves or to their families. Basically, they're expecting that they'll have good neighbors, just like you'll expect to have great neighbors. A major part of being a good neighbor is communication. When you first move in, ask them their name and tell them your roommates. Ask them for their phone number in case of an emergency. They can make broccoli cheese casserole. Or you can get them a gift. That could work. I mean, something like an exotic drum that you can hit again and again and it brings out animals and just, it makes everyone excited. Ooh, who doesn't like animals and music too? True that. And if you're gonna have friends over, might as well give your neighbors a heads up. That way if there's a large mass of people on your sidewalk, they won't be too freaked out. And in the end, it's just the neighborly thing to do. Another important part of being a good community member is keeping things clean and tidy. Very true. And with that, here's a list of do's and don'ts that you guys should keep in mind. Find out whether yard maintenance is your responsibility or your landlord's. Most likely it's yours, so remember to trim your foliage, mow your lawn, and pick your weeds. Also, make sure you check for loose trash once in a while. Remember the old Welsh proverb, beautiful lawns make beautiful neighbors. We were attacked by bugs that whole time. Garbage is crucial. Find out what day your garbage is collected and stick to it. If you have any questions, I'm sure your neighbors will be more than happy to help you out. Don't let your trash cans overflow. That just looks terrible. And make sure your trash is securely covered so it doesn't go flying around everywhere. It's not good for the environment and it's not good for neighbor relations. And make sure you bring those trash cans soon after they're emptied. No one likes the empty front lawn trash bin look. I mean, no one since the early 70s. Again, remember, beautiful lawns make beautiful neighbors. Finally, let's talk about social gatherings. You know those times when you invite a friend over on a Saturday night and he or she brings a few friends over and then they bring a friend over and then one of them brings a friend over and then maybe their girlfriend and you really don't like her but you still bring her and then there's a lone wolf guy and but he's there and he didn't bring anyone. Anyways, you know what I mean? That kind of Friday night. Those kinds of events can not only determine your standing in the university but also in your community and in even the legal system. Keep in mind the amount of people you have over at a given time. Remember, the more people, the more noise, and the more likely you are to upset your neighbors, who in fact legally have the right to a peaceful night. DC's Disorderly Conduct Amendment Act of 2010 prohibits any excessive noise between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. and allows for arrests for any violators or even fines. Remind your guests to keep noise down, particularly when entering and leaving your home. The majority of noise complaints result from when guests are outside of your home. If you get a noise complaint or other infraction, you'll get an email stating that you'll have to meet with the AU Dean of Students office. The deans will then talk to you, get your perspective, and talk about how you can avoid those things in the future. If violations continue, you'll be referred to AU Student Conduct Office, which is less than ideal. DC law states that anyone serving alcohol to minors may also face prosecution under the law. So don't put yourself in a bad situation. Lastly, on the subject of social gatherings, Make sure you clean up your mess from your event right away. Beautiful lawns make what? Exotic drums. Beautiful neighbors. No, the ones where they bring the animals out. Aside from learning how to be a good neighbor, living off campus also gives you the chance to be responsible. Uh, make sure you have a lease. Why is a lease important? Because it gives you protection. Your landlord can change the terms of your agreement without your written consent. A written lease is not required to establish tenancy. However, we strongly encourage all tenants to have a lease. After the initial terms of your lease has ended, you can decide to go to a month-to-month -month term. You can check the DC Tenants Guide to Safe and Decent Housing here. The next important step is to see if you're renting from a licensed property. 
Essentially, without a basic business license, or BBL, you can't be sure if you're renting from a safe place. This covers fire, safety, and structural codes in not only apartments and buildings, but also houses and basement apartments. If you suspect your building or apartment doesn't comply with DC standards or is operating without a license, check here for more information on what to do. If you're in Virginia or Maryland, go here. AU's off-campus housing team, an incredibly helpful bunch, hosts a website that posts all the off-campus opportunities with proper licensing. So, you really don't have to worry about anything. You can find that website here. One last important tip to remember is that NDC and landlords should only charge one month's rent for a security deposit. No landlord should charge two to three times the rent for a security deposit. Additionally, if you've already moved in, a landlord cannot charge you a security deposit fee. If you have any additional questions on your rights or responsibilities as a tenant here in DC, or how to live in the community, you can reference any of the links we've mentioned in this video. Also, you can stop by the off-campus housing office or the Dean of Students office, which can be found here. Living off-campus is great and it's a very exciting time. Remember that you're part of a community both on campus and in your neighborhood. You're an A representative and your conduct reflects on the university. Like superpowers, with great off-campus opportunities comes great responsibility. So use your powers for good, even if you like exotic bongo drums. And don't forget the pie. Oh, we're supposed to be. Thank you.